Hi YouTube. Hi to everybody. Good morning. I'm bringing you another breakfast of mine. Well, today's not going to be with fruit, but it's going to be with oatmeal. We have moringa, chia seed, flat seed, two teaspoons of raw sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of, of nutmeg. So, and I'm going to grind my oatmeal because I want it like a powder. So it's going to be uh, oatmeal and of course seven leaves of mint. I need you need to have some of that grain in you. So let's do this right now and of course seven ice cube and crunchy milk. So this is oatmeal what I used was two thirds of oatmeal and see I like it to be fine looks like a powder I don't know if guys you can see that it looks like a powder but I want it even finer than that so one more time. I mean, you can buy it in powders. It comes like this, in in you know. But I know what this one has. Just plain oatmeal. So now I'm gonna put it back into. comes down to still two thirds. I don't know if you guys can see that. So now our ninja blender. We're going to pour our liquid first this time. Which is one and a half cups of cashew milk. I already know the measurements by heart, so, see, cashew is the best, it's the best, so we have that there, so, now we're going to put seven leaves of mint, it's up to you if you want to break them down. Put my eyes next. Put cinnamon. The reason why I'm using uh, raw sugar today is because I have not gone to the supermarket to get my honey. Because everything I do with honey. And the last but not least, my oatmeal. And this is breakfast. We're gonna put our lid there. I'm gonna show you guys our main thing this. Let me get all this out of my way. Cause you know me, I cook and clean. Okay. So let's do this bad boy. This is my breakfast. I'm gonna put more lighting in the kitchen because it's not so much. This is, so this is gonna go into his thick side because it's oatmeal and powder. And you have chia seed, you have black seed, you have a pinch of nutmeg, you have half a teaspoon of cinnamon, you have half a teaspoon of moringa, and you have half a teaspoon Really nice, cool. So, because we have moringa, you think it's gonna be green, but 
It's not. The reason why I use Moringa, I had a wound in my foot. Well, still have, but it's getting smaller by the, by the day. It's really, really small. I had a nurse that came by because I've been struggling how to close this wound because it's a non-healing wound. First, I got bitten by a brown recruit. And ever since that, it's been a, ride, a roller coaster with his foot. After seven years, well, basically, I was bitten ten and a half years ago. And after, I've been two years with it. After eight years, the wound opened back again. So it's been two years. And now in February, maybe two years and two months. And I found a great doctor. She's from Jersey City. She is the best of Houston County. She is the best. I will recommend her. She's in Bayonne Hospital. She is the best. You got a wound in your foot? Go to Bayonne Hospital. She is the best. So now, this nurse that comes here three times a week to check the wound, um, well, my regular nurse wasn't here, so she took over for her. And let's see how it looks. A little bit finer than this. I like it. Because I like to test the nuttiness of the flaxseed. And she recommended Moringa. She told me, look, Lou, um, this is good to help close wounds. It's a very, very powerful powder which helps with diseases and stuff. And you know, I was like, you know, I'll try anything just to see how can I close this wound up. And she explained to me some people don't like the taste of it. But I was playing around with my herbs, you know, and spices. And check it out. Moringa tastes really good. If you put it on tea and lemon, it's going to taste like a... Um, what do you call this? Um, like onion grass, but without that hearty taste. This is wow. And it's really good for your health. Trust me. This is my morning breakfast. I will tell you guys, yes. I try if you can incorporate moringa into your breakfast because it's really really good all times we're going to talk about moringa uh, up later but let me taste mine oh my goodness it is nutty you can taste a hint of mint because the leaf was not so big you can taste your oatmeal regular raw oatmeal the ice because it's really really cold you can taste the chia see it's not too uh, sweet at all but I'm okay with that because the salt and sweet is not too good but I always use honey but this time I didn't so I used two teaspoons of uh, raw sugar my cinnamon and it has that hint of nutmeg this is so good and so good. This will keep me going the whole day, basically. Because Moringa is something that helps sustain the body and the stomach. So if you're looking to lose weight as well, Moringa is very good for you. Because it will fill you up. It will sustain that stomach by saying, I'm hungry and I want to eat everything inside. No, that will stop it. Because I've, I've been trying it and it's, it's fantastic. I use Moringa for a lot of my dishes. Because it's, it's not overpowering. So, I, I I mean, I'm going to show you some dishes with that. It's the best thing. But right now, this is my breakfast. And I just wanted to bring that breakfast, the shake to you. It is delicious. It is awesome. So, from my kitchen to yours. Always cooking with me. Well, my YouTube friends, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. You should try this. I am telling you, this is great. Try it. And you're going to enjoy every bit of it. It's, it's, 
I'm going to bring some other healthy shakes in. But it's simple, easy, and that's it. And it keeps you going. It's going to give you energy because this is what this is, an energy drink. It's going to keep you going. Well, my YouTube people, now I'm going to say bye because I'm going to have breakfast. Bye. Enjoy.